Welcome back. Here's episode number six of the Seamer Duncan convertible preamp module series. This is the solid state FET module. Um, this one here is a really rare bird. I found one on eBay, but at the time I just had a newborn baby. I was on a really tight budget. And I found one on eBay, but, you know, I just frankly didn't want to spend the money. I thought, well, heck, I could build one for really cheap. And so there was one on eBay. I saved the pictures from the auction, but they're kind of blurry. And I emailed the guy, said, you know, this might sound like an odd request, but can you um, tell me what the colors on this one resistor are? And, and he, because I couldn't tell from the pictures, and he said, well, they're blah, blah, blah. And I... I said, cool, thanks, and I don't remember if the auction ended and if he sold or if he didn't sell it. But I was able to take those pictures and with a friend of mine that owned a coffee shop a few doors down from where I worked at the time, who was a real electronics guru, helped me figure it out just by looking at the pictures. What, um, number one, the schematic, we had to figure out the schematic, and number two, like all the part values, and specifically the FET, we were trying to figure out what, what FET was that, and so on, and what would it need, what would it require. So anyways, I made this module only by pictures that I got off eBay, and before I had the factory module schematic sent to me, um, you know, I had generated my own schematic, and give me a second here, and I will dig up. Okay, so here's the schematic. Basically, you have the signal coming in, goes through an FET that I believe, if I remember correctly, can have about a 30 volt or 50 volt supply voltage. I can't remember at this point. And basically they've got a bypass capacitor to also help increase the gain. So it comes in, gets amplified, comes back out. This is going to be a warmer sounding module than the solid state IC because these FETs are more warm sounding, they're functionally kind of more similar to a triode, just you know, they're all 100% solid state. Now, I thought this one was interesting because it takes the B plus voltage, which is you know, like 300 something watts, it bumps it down to a voltage that this thing can use without blowing up and uh, you know does its thing amplifies the signal now in, you know go on to the next stage I I like this one I've used this one a lot in my convertible I, I think it has a nice uh, it's a nice hybrid sound I personally I like using like pedals into a tube amp and uh, you know, you get the warm tube sound, but you kind of have that that solid state crunch at the same time. So I I personally like this module. Um, but once again, that's like a rare bird. I've only seen one on eBay once, but you know, I have to admit I don't I don't um, regularly check for modules on eBay. But anyways, stay tuned for episode number seven. Thanks for watching.